So I want to talk a little bit about uh, bunt defense today. This is a, um, a situation where they may have a runner at first base um, and less than two outs. Um, in the situation where they, uh, we may expect a bunt, um, we'll have our third baseman playing in, our shortstop playing a little bit closer to second base, our second baseman play a little bit closer to first base than usual. Um, here the first baseman has to hold on the base runner at first. Um, and what you'll see is when when the batter squares to bunt, uh, you see kind of a uh, progression of people in motion. Um, and what we'll see is the, the, um, the third baseman's gonna charge in as soon as he sees this guy square. Um, the shortstop will move to second. The second baseman will be moving to first. The first baseman has to wait until the pitch is delivered. So the, the batter may show bunt early, um, and the, as soon as the pitcher commits to go home, then the first baseman can crash, and the pitcher's gonna come up, and the catcher's gonna come up as well, all right? Um, and when this all happens, as soon as, you know, the bunt is down, we would likely, you know, the runner's gonna be moving towards second base. You also have your, your outfielders are gonna be in motion as well to serve in their backup uh, capacity. So uh, right fielder's gonna move down here, uh, center fielder is going to move up and the left fielder is going to move you know, somewhere behind third base here in case there's a throw this way. Uh, so a situation where the ball is fielded by the, uh, the pitcher or the first baseman or the catcher, we need to have uh, coverage uh, here at third base. So um, the way we'll play this is to have, um, have the third baseman is going to be, we'll call it banana cut back to third base in case there's a play at the back. Um, what we'll do here um, if you know the first baseman uh, gets the ball in this example, the, the catcher is going to dictate where we're going to go at the ball. So uh, he go call one one one, and we throw the ball to first base, right? Um, what we have to be aware of is that the um, the f the runners um, may be trying to take advantage of this kind of distraction and have this runner try to go to third. And in that case, what we want to do is be aware of that situation. Um, and uh, having everyone call 3-3-3 three, three, three and make that throw across over here. And this is kind of why we have this back up here uh, on the initial throw, and then a potential throw to third base is why we have this back up over here. All right, so here's a, a real-life example from an MLB game I found on YouTube um, where we have a, a runner at first base. Um, we've got the third baseman crashing. We've got the first baseman crashing. You can see how the shortstop is playing much closer to second base already. The second baseman's a little bit further away here, uh, but he's already starting in motion um, towards first base because he sees the bunt happening. Um, so I'll play this, and you can see, if I stop it right here, you can see... Um, we had crashing here. The, the, the pitcher's going to end up feeling the ball. The third baseman realizes that he's not getting the ball, so he's going to go back to third base in case there's a throw there. Uh, you can obviously see the catcher is dictating this play. He's saying 1-1-1, one, 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 and he's actually been pointing that way. Um, the second baseman's on his way um, to first base to cover for the out. You can see that the shortstop is in position for a play there. Um, but the likelihood of making that play is pretty difficult. The pitcher has not yet fielded it. It'd be a difficult play for him to spin as a left-hander spin and make this throw. Um, so if I let this play out, you'll see um, we just kind of get that out at first base. Um, if we have uh, the situation maybe where um, yeah, the ball is bunted very, very hard, we're kind of right back to the pitcher or maybe something that drops right here at the catcher, we may actually, may be beneficial for us to, um, to make the call to actually throw to second base um, and try to get that lead runner. Um, so make the throw here, which is why we've got a back up here. And, and uh, there's always the potential uh, for the double play, all right? So um, that's why uh, the catcher is going to make that make this determination of where to go the ball. He'll call two, two, two. Make the throw there. If we have a chance to get a double play, we'll go one. Okay, so here we're going to have a situation again. Runner at first base. Um, uh, here we've we kind of they're set up in a double play situation, so they're not really expecting a a bunt here, a sacrifice bunt. Um, this is the uh, of the leadoff hitter, I believe. Um, so. Um, the second baseman has a longer way to travel, which may impact um, the decision the catcher makes here. But you'll, as you watch, you'll see the catcher pops out and he's going to make this throw to second base. And 
the bunt. And a good one. Mathis off balance from the second. He, he makes that quick decision to go to second base. Um, if I replay it again, you kind of see here, at the time that the catcher gets the ball, um, the second baseman isn't um, very close to first base. And in fact, the first baseman kind of goes back to the bag because um, he did not get a good jump either. It was kind of a late bunt. It was not anticipated as a sacrifice bunt. So this is a good decision by the catcher, albeit the throw being off balance. Um, he does make a good throw and gets the lead runner. Maybe, maybe the ball is more hit towards the third baseman. Um, and in this situation, the third baseman is going to field it, and he's going to be making that throw over to first base. But what the catcher is going to do is he's going to say one. The catcher now has the responsibility of covering third base. So he would call switch. He would say one, one, one to have the throw go to first base. Uh, and call switch, which is the indication that he is going to then go um, to uh, third base in case there's a play there. Uh, and in turn, after the throw, the third baseman would come home to cover that cover the plate. Um, and so similar to what we had before in the case where we have a uh, base runner that tries to take advantage of the situation and tries to go to third, what we can do is we can have... Um, you know, make this play here uh, after the throw to one. Uh, if we're paying attention and the guy tries to go to third, we can go three, 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 and we can make this throw across, in this case, to the catcher covering third base and hopefully make a play there as well. Again, backups here and backups here on those throws. Okay, so here's a situation where the bunt's going to go to the third baseman, and this is a really good example of the play uh, because you can see everybody uh, moving to the right spot, um, and the person who is going to receive the bunt, in this case the third baseman, is really directing and calling for the ball to make sure there's not a collision, there's no uh, you know, interference with another player on your own team. Uh, and the catcher, obviously, in the situation, is running down the line to cover third base. So if you watch this bunt go down, and as you look, you can see the pitcher's coming towards the ball. Um, the third baseman is calling for it. He puts his hand up. You'll see another angle of this. And the catcher is moving towards third base. Um, we've got uh, the shortstop here. The second baseman's moving towards first base. And again, the reason why the third baseman is making this call is it's going to be easier for him to make this play to first base than for the pitcher to, to stop, uh, barehand it, uh, pivot, turn, and make the throw. So as we watch the rest of this play, um, he makes that play there, right? And so there's another angle of this. So on this angle, you can see the calling for the ball there, uh, making sure that we don't interfere with each other, making a nice strong throw and getting the guy out of first base.